process of education is very similar to the, the development of a conversation. When you converse with someone, the very first necessity is that the person is there. You cannot converse with someone that is somewhere else in her mind. Do you very often in your life with your own children or with your husband even, or in the school, someone is conversing with you but you are somewhere else? Education happens only when you are there present to this person that you are conversing with. The person is coming with some content. In education, you have the two poles. So in a conversation, you have one person who is there open, waiting, present, and able to receive what the other is bringing. So the child comes from the garden with a little uh, animal that is all dirty and he found and is so precious. And I am here, open to this child that brings this horrible little animal for me as a very precious and that we're going to find what to do with. To exist, for a conversation to exist, we have to have this kind of presence to what the other brings in this kind of silence, of openness to receive. And the most important of a conversation is not to respond like in a learning situation. What is this? This is that. When a person asks us something, in general, a person is thinking about that. So to be able to maintain a conversation, the best technique is to question with the person. The person comes to you and says, what is rain? And this person is perhaps four or five years old. If you say rain is a condensation, blah, blah. What is rain? Let's see what rain is. We discover with the child. We teach, we educate in the measure in which we listen we have a space for the question of the child. We share his question and we discover with him. Nobody likes answers. We don't like someone to tell us what, except exceptionally when, when we wanted the telephone number of someone. But in the process of growing, we wanted to be the one discovering, uh, developing. The educator is the one that is able to be in dialogue, that becomes dialogue. The educator is someone, be it the director in her school, be it the head teacher, the assistant, is there open, able to follow the child, to receive from the child and perceive without even words, to perceive what the child wants, what the child is discovering and to share the question with him. The real educator is someone that makes the other think more, that engages himself with the child in the search for what the child is interested, not the one that answers questions. To be an educator is not to answer questions. To be an educator is to be so interested in life in the life he's sharing with the child, that he's totally open and totally following and totally questioning with the child for the truth that we are all looking for. 